Okay, we're on a um, farm that we bought a few years ago. We've done a bunch of tiling in here. This whole farm lays on a side hill. I'm putting a buffer strip in on the lower side by the woods. A 40 foot buffer strip in here. Um, Yeah. Just using a mixture of wheat, reed canary grass, and some old alfalfa seed that we had left over from years past. We just churned it up with the disc. We had wheat planted. Um, Planted in this back field here. This field goes up to an open ditch that's up in front of us here. And another field starts after that open ditch and we're putting a buffer strip down alongside the bottom side of that too. This all lays on a pretty steep gradual side hill. All the way from the road back, the road is down where that white silo is. We've got alfalfa planted up above me. We're going to have corn on this lower side. we got alfalfa in the middle of the field that's across from the open ditch. And then we'll have a corn strip above it. rough where we haven't um, dissed there so we have pretty good alright all right, so I'm going to change back oh, these washout marks are uh, I'm going to change back to the field that I was in on the other side of that open ditch. I'm going to continue with coverage, turn my steering back on. Okay, I'm just gonna check the drill here and see, uh, let's see how much, how much product we got left here. See, this is just uh, wheat, a little bit of alfalfa mixed in there with some reed canary grass, just some clean out crap, really. Yeah. This end drill might be actually empty, or just about there. Yeah, so we got a mixture of wheat to get it going here. Some reed canary grass, some alfalfa. Some of this alfalfa that's in here was a bag that I spilled years ago. And I just shoveled it up out of the dirt and uh, threw it in a bag thinking that we would use it for hand seeding. Um, and uh, got an extra bag here. Ah, I never did that. It's getting used today. I've got all my small seed uh, boxes closed off so that we ain't wasting any of that. Got Roundup Ready Alfalfa in there. So uh, we just got to jog down uh, to the end of this field here. Uh, and uh, I got a man waiting down there with a roll of harrow. 
he's gonna go ahead and uh, and get lined up on my guidance line here hit my auto steer let it do its thing and we are golden yeah, I'm only running I'm only running uh, one of the drills out of the three I ran uh, all three down the down the length of the field here and uh, now I'm just doubling back with uh, with one section it'll give me 30 and 10 40 feet this will give us the ability to jog down through here with a what are you doing here with a triple mower uh, I got as close to the woods as I could and, and it no, nothing planted straight so the tractor's kind of wallowing around on her own here following the a not so straight guidance line there but when we go to put corn in, we can straighten that up a little bit maybe take a little bit out of that last 10 feet that we're that we're sowing in here um, I've got some pretty good washouts that I went ahead and disked as well now I'm gonna put a little bit of a seed in them too to see if we can't get something growing in there before we get our our next rainstorm here but um, this farm we cleared a lot of brush out of the field and behind the drill there in between the drill and where that open ditch is and then as you can see it it lays on a pretty good sized gradual side hill here and there's a lot of water that runs from way up top and uh, we've got an open ditch somewhat of an open ditch down in on the bottom side here and here's here's one of the washouts here with stripping this um, we'll be able to eliminate these washouts we had all this ground opened up a year ago now um, I put a piece of sedan grass up in there where that that next strip up uh, where that's seeded now and uh, that didn't work out so great I ended up putting manure on it we didn't even harvest it we ended up plowing it under there's only about half a crop there. Planted on June 16th. And uh, it didn't work out all that great. I was going to put Sudan grass down in here. And I didn't think it would get growing quick enough. So got quite the squiggly line going there on the, on the green star. I wanted to keep that drill as close to the woods as I could get it, so I was bobbing in and out of oh, the trees and, and whatnot instead of just straightening it right off. So uh, we're gonna get to the end here. Um, I got a man waiting for me. He's gonna jump on the drill. We're gonna go ahead and put 10 foot. Um, 10 foot swaths up through these um, up through these washout marks and then we'll just leave that we'll just leave that crap growing here um, in the middle of the field and, and them washouts so that should work yeah, we're getting right to the end so we'll let that scroll around So we're just going to use the, uh, the right hand drill. I'm just going to walk right up through here where it had a pretty good washout. Again, 
and we'll just uh, leave this alone. down through our second washout mark trying to put the trying to see just where it was washed out just a 10 foot 10 foot mark down through the edge here I'm trying to follow the the contour of the ground where that was washed out we dissed that couple three four times with a disc and uh, yeah then we'll just when we chisel plow this we'll just go ahead and um, pick up over the top of that and just kind of leave that leave that stuff growing telling me so the, the next one the next washout I'll just use the the metal drill get that empty marks in here they were oh Christ they were better than a foot deep probably well I come down across this lot chopping and, and uh, we're cutting the swath down through the middle when I hit that one washout mark and I thought I was gonna lose my teeth That's what that beeping is. Put that washout mark right in the middle of that right hand outside drill. in this drill so when I go to the next uh, my next field I've got Roundup Ready Alfalfa going into it and I don't want to have to kill off anything there here midsummer that shouldn't be growing there well, I should have a pretty clean field anyway Plant job is not too straight, right? Follow the 
washout territory there. This is the last one. Bang, they had drilled down. Nah, I don't know what the hell to do. I don't know if I can shut them gates up on that drill enough to go to my next field. Leave the big box alone. I just dump my uh, alfalfa in. I've got lower in the small boxes. And uh, got them loaded in the small boxes. And then I can clean the drill. Clean this crap that I got in there out save it for the next project that we have like this. Okay, that should do this job. We've got our buffer strip put in and we've got our washouts filled in with a little bit of grass to get grown so we don't have such a large washout here this this growing season we should be all right by next year anyways that hay lot there that that strip alfalfa should should hold back uh quite a bit of quite a bit of water um that ground was open all last year now there was a little bit of sedan grass growing in on that field there which was crap, and uh, it was kind of open right in between. So we're just about out of manure. I was hoping that we'd be able to get some manure put on this here quite quickly, but I think we're gonna be out. We only got a couple days left of that. So, well, that's gonna do it for this video.